My good buddy Silver Seeker called me up and said, Hey Rob, I've got a couple of boxes of pennies in front of me, and I picked them up before the pandemic. Now, as you know, Silver Seeker doesn't really do a lot of coin roll hunts, so he offered them up to me, and I said, You know what? I'll take them, because as you know, we're trying to complete this Dance Go Lincoln Penny album, and I'll take all the help I can get. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. We have another two box penny hunt in front of me. These are a couple of Missouri State penny boxes that I got from my good friend Silver Seeker. And these were picked up before the pandemic, so they're from 2020. Now that being said, as you guys know, we slotted a couple of pennies in my last penny hunt. And now we sit at 202 pennies slotted out of the 234 slots in the book through 182 boxes. Now this is gonna be episode number 99, and we've got boxes 183 and 184 in front of me. And if for some reason you'd like to start the playlist from the very beginning, I do have that playlist linked both down below in the video description, as well as pinned up here. Now for now, we're gonna slide the books out of the way. I went ahead and opened them prior, just to make sure they were circulated since, because Silver Seeker also sent me a box of nickels, and when I cracked that one open, it was uncirculated. So I need to verify they're both circulated penny boxes. We've definitely got a 100 roll hunt. We're gonna get right to it, and you guys know the drill. As soon as I have a find, I'll bring in and show you what it is. Wish me luck. Let's find some goodies for the book. Well, we have a find in the very first roll. It's about the eighth coin in, and it's going to be a 1957 Denver wheat cent. Roll number eight. Wheat cent number two. A 1958 Denver. One hour later. Well, we're now on roll number 27 of the box. It's been pretty slow for the last 15 rolls or so. But I will have another wheat cent. It took me a second to see that it was a 1944 Denver. It's pretty toasty, but we're still going to check it for that D over S, which I don't see. It's our oldest find of the hunt so far, but only our third wheat cent of the box. Roll 41 is finally going to give us our fourth wheat cent of the hunt. Reverse facing, just another 1957 Denver. Definitely a light box on wheat cent finds but the copper's been adding up in a hurry, so hopefully we got a few more Wheaties in there before the end of the box. Roll number 45, Weed Scent number five. And that's a 52 Denver. Roll number 47 is gonna give us Weed Scent number six. So the box definitely is at least almost average at this point, and that's gonna be a 1941. So we'll just check it for any of the three DDOs that could be on it. And that's not going to be one. It is the oldest find of the hunt so far, though. Six wheat cents on the board. Three rolls left. Well, we finished that first Silver Seeker 2020 Missouri State box, and it was definitely light on wheat cents. Only six. We like eight or more at the least. And only two from the 40s. Nothing really old and nothing in that great a shape. That being said, we also found a Canadian. We did get three 1959s and surprisingly three 1969 S's, although of course none were the DDOs. The saving grace of that box was the copper. Three pounds, three ounces. So holy cow, that rivals my Northeast boxes with over three pounds of copper in one box. And I would imagine if it stays the same for the second box, I might overfill that copper cup. That being said, one box is only down. We still have another box to go. We have a lot more chances to find more wheat cents and stuff for the book. Hopefully the second box is better on wheat cents than the first box. We won't know until we get into it. Let me go ahead and clear away the discards and I'll go ahead and get you guys caught back up once I have a find in box number two. Roll 55 of the 100 roll hunt will give us our seventh wheat cent of the hunt as well. And that's going to be a 1948 Philly. Only our third from the 40s, and we'll take it. Roll 63. Weed scent number eight. And that's going to be a 46 Denver. Well, we're on roll number 64, and um, I've scrutinized it. I've weighed it. At first, I thought it was just somebody who had damaged a copper scent. It weighs 3.10. So if somebody were to have scratched this away to try to make it look like a blank planchet, they would have had to remove very little, and I don't see any detail, and I don't even see the raised rim. So I'm thinking it's just heavily circulated, and this is a copper blank planchet that has not been 
or at least not had the rim raised on it. Either way, I'm going to call it a Blink Planchet. It's definitely been around in circulation for a while, and I can't see any markings other than in this lighting. It looks like there was something there, but I think that's just some circulation dings that just look suspicious. Either way, we'll call it a Copper Blink Planchet because it weighs true. I don't see any major scratches, just circulation dings. We'll take that. We don't find them too often. And uh, you guys can let me know if you see something that I'm missing. Let's get back to the hunt. We're on roll number 69 of the 100 roll hunt. And we now have our ninth wheat scent, one off double digits, the third of this box. And that's going to be a 51 Denver with some corrosion. Roll 76 will get us to that 10th wheat scent mark. It looks like it's a cleaned and uh, corroded wheat scent. But... Just another 1957 Denver again. Roll number 79. Wheat set number 11, standing proud. And it looks like a pretty nice 1946 Philly with just a splash of red still remaining. Roll number 80 is going to give us a dozen wheat cents. So now we already have six in the first 30 rolls of this box. So it's already tied the last box. And it's going to be a 44 Denver. So we will check that Denver mint mark for the D over S, which I do not see. 12 wheat cents on the board, 20 rolls remaining. Well, we're now on roll number 96 of the hunt, and the last 16 rolls have been ice cold for wheat cents. Ever since we got to the 12th one, we haven't found another one until now. Wheat scent number 13 of the hunt is going to be a 1950 San Francisco. And I'll tell you, the wheat cents have been light, but we're on our second cup of copper already because this box has gone crazy for copper. Well, unfortunately, that's going to do it for this two-box hunt, and it was definitely light on the wheat scents like I've mentioned several times. 13 wheat scents, 6 in box 1, 7 in box 2, nothing before 1941, so those elusive 30s continue to plague me. I will say that I've taken a look at this, and I am pretty convinced it's just a copper blank planchet without the raised rim, and uh, that's what I'm going to call it. We did get four Canadian scents. One was a Laureate portrait from 1964. We also got a, a ton of 59s. That's just a testament to the fact that they're not pulling out copper, at least from these two boxes. And we have 10 of those and five 1969 S's. So I'll take those and add them to my rolls. For those warning about the copper, I stopped at five pounds in this cup and we ended with a total of seven pounds and two ounces. So just about four pounds of copper in that box. And that might be one of my highest copper totals I've ever seen in a one box hunt and maybe even in a two-box hunt. I don't think we're going to have anything for the book, obviously. None of these are in really nice shape, and none of them are years or mints that we need. But let me go ahead and do that, compare the finds to the album, and I'll be back with a recap. And if we have any upgrades and additions, I'll be sure to include you in on those as well. All right, we have compared the finds to the album, and as expected, no additions this time, but we did have an upgrade. That 1946 Philadelphia that I mentioned during the hunt with a splash of red, Definitely updated the one that we had in here, and I'll take that because it's always nice seeing an upgrade after 184 boxes hunted. After those 184 boxes hunted, we're now at 202 out of 234 cents, and even though we didn't slot anything in this episode, getting two in the last one still keeps me optimistic that we'll find another few before the end of this series. Now, if you're wondering when we're going to end this series, I'm not quite sure. I think maybe at around the 200 box mark, we'll go ahead and add a, another book and see how we do starting another album while we run it concurrently with this one. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.